Hello everyone and welcome back to another Emasi chess game by Aaron Nimzovic. In this chess game Nimzovic had the white pieces and his opponent is a player with no name, an unknown chess player. And this chess game was played in 1896 and Aaron Nimzovic was born in 1886. So at this time Aaron Nimzovic was only 10 years old at 1896. So this chess game was played in Riga as well. So let's see what happened in this chess game and only for the records this was the first ever published chess game of Aaron Nimzovic when he was only 10 years old kid so he starts the game with e4 d5 the Scandinavian defense e takes on d5 and Scandinavian defense is also known as center counter so e takes on d5 queen takes on d5 knight to c3 defending the queen and knight to f3 and in blitz chess and in speed chess games, I think the Scandinavian defense is a good opening choice. But against someone who knows very deep theory, it might backfire. But on the other hand, you don't have to memorize tons of theory for playing the Scandinavian defense. And this is one of the best moves to play against e4 if you don't want to memorize a lot of theory. So, but in this position, Black played a very bad move. He played f5. And I think this move was a move with no purpose because it blocks the bishop. It is just wasting time and it is also weakening the king. So instead of f5, black should consider developing the knight, pushing the e pawn or even developing the bishop should have been considered. But we have f5, a, a meaningless move, bishop to c4, a very good move by Aaron Nimzovic, developing the pieces, knight to c6, Castling queen to d6, d3, and then queen to b4. Well, Nimzovic is offering his b pawn, and black accepted the poisoned pawn. And I think this chess game is one of the best examples of the poisoned pawn, because now white has a very strong counter attack. Knight to d5, now black is capturing a pawn, being greedy, but the cost is very heavy. So, Black, the consequences is going to be very heavy and now attacking on c7. Black is defending on c7 with the king and now. Actually, black doesn't have much good defense in this position. Now black is losing the casting rights as well. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? White has a very strong move and let me tell you this. After that move, black can even resign, in my opinion. Because after that move, black doesn't have any good defense so if I ask you uh, if you want you can also pause the video can you see how white can play in this position how to win I think after that move white is winning instantly on the spot so okay I hope you have seen bishop to c5 and this is winning this is actually trapping the queen and the only safe spot was a3 and the bishop is defending occupying the only safe spot for the queen and there is no time to defend against rook to b1 so black desperately played b6 and i think this is resignable aaron nimzovich played rook to b1 trapping the queen and i think we know how good was aaron nimzovich when he was only 10 years old he was a 10 years old baby but he just simply wins. He defeats his opponent in just 10 moves. An opening disaster for black. Well, black continued. I would have resigned in this position. So queen takes on b1, queen takes, pawn takes bishop. And I think black doesn't have any good compensation for the queen. So black is getting rook, the bishop, and one extra pawn for the queen. But white has also the superior position, especially after knight to g5 and how to defend a knight to f7 so defending with the knight well actually you can't defend with the king because if moving the king then knight takes on c7 so knight to e5 attacking the defender attacking the aggressor exchanging the knights and then knight to e3 by Aaron Nimzovic opening the bishop attacking the f pawn and black is defending and then Nimzovic played e6 and I think we can forgive Aaron Nimzovic for playing bad moves because he was only 10 years old. But actually, so uh, I'm trying to tell you that this 
e pushing the e pawn e6 move was not a good move. Actually, it is not losing, of course. It is uh, white is still better. White is much better in this position. But instead of e6, uh, there is a move that wins on the spot. So after pushing the e pawn, uh, Nimzovic says, "Don't take my knight because I will take your bishop, and it is going to be checkmate." But can you see the best move in this position for white? Which means heavy material. So did you see that move? So instead of pushing the pawn, bishop to d5 should have been considered and this rook is lost and black can't capture the knight because of rook takes on f8. Let's say after developing the knight, the late gratification, defending the knight and then white can capture the rook because the queen is also occupying the b file. So this should have been considered, but we can forgive <laughs> the 10 years old uh, Eren Nimzovic when he was uh, a little kid. So in this position, we have f4 and then e6. Uh, but in this position, black can develop the knight and then uh, close the f file, attacking the knight and also defend on d5. But instead, black made an unbelievable blunder. He captured the knight with the pawn. And this was actually one of the most ridiculous blunders that we have ever seen for a while. Well, this liberates the rook, Aaron Nimzovic, simply captures the bishop, check, mate. <laughs> what a funny chess game. Well, actually, Nimzovic played very accurate. Uh, so after e6, instead of capturing the knight, of course, knight to f6 should have been considered uh, closing the f-file after defending the knight you can see that the knight is also defending bishop to d5 and black is much worse of course white is easily winning but perhaps black is going to survive for maybe 20 more move, 20 more moves 20 plus moves or something <laughs> so it was a very bad blunder of course f4 in the real chess game e6 and then capturing the knight and nimzovic simply captured the bishop and this chess game ends here. Check mate at move 18. Black wanted to stay anonymous. He wanted to remain anonymous as he got checkmated and destroyed against a 10 years old baby. So what a humiliating chess game for Black. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.